Okay guys, I want to show you what I've been up to in the basement. Got the wood stove going. Inside there is a pipe, stainless steel, shape of a C, and it goes into the firebox. Comes out of the firebox, connected to the copper pipes, one low, one high. Got unions there, and they lead to this extra tank that I purchased off of Craigslist. The idea is to create thermal siphon. Thermal siphon is uh, hot water rising through the pipe right there into the tank and on the bottom it sinks down toward the wood stove and it just starts to do this cycling all on its own and it'll heat this water tank up and it'll just keep the temperature will keep rising. On top is an air valve, lets air out but no water in case anything gets trapped in the system. And then I've got the safety valve, too much pressure, too much temperature it'll pop off. And on the bottom of the tank I've got the uh, cold going toward the wood stove. And got a little thermometer there, kind of paying attention to what it's doing. The uh, pipe on the right is from in incoming from my well. Pipe on the left is coming out of this tank, going toward my electric existing hot water heater. And the little horizontal pipe there is a uh, bypass. I can bypass this entire system. Following these pipes, PEX line goes over to my existing water heater, which is unplugged. I just switched the breaker off so I don't need it, uh, need to use it anymore. The gray insulated pipe is incoming from the other tank, and it looks to be about 120 degrees. And the red pipe on the left there is servicing my house with hot water. So this is a pressurized system. It's uh, my normal well and uh, pressure tank pressurized it. I think it's about 55 PSI. Uh, but no electricity anywhere. Just uh, runs off of wood heat. And we've been doing it for a few days and it's running great. So uh, I'll give an updated video in a while. Uh, so far we're loving it and plenty of hot water. Alright, thanks for watching.